Wow, look at that cookie dough bar. Wow, doesn't that look good? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I don't want to talk in my mouth. Oh, man, these are these are good. You got to watch this and see how to make these. This is awesome. Hey, I got a really cool recipe. So I know it's been really warm across the country, across at least the U.S. anyway. So if you're watching me from somewhere else, let me know how the weather is down there. Say down in the comments where you're from and uh, how's weather. But here across the U.S., it's been really warm the last couple of weeks, and um, it's going. It looks like it's going to uh, remain that way for a few more weeks. So I thought I'd do something that I don't have to cook or something that I have to bake, but I wanted to do something that was um, a really nice treat to have. Uh, um, and again, this is going to be more of a keto snack, so hopefully this is something you can make. Um, you can put in a refrigerator or a freezer and then just take out every once in a while and uh, when you feel like you need a nice little uh, snack or a nice little treat. So um, so we're going to make some cookie dough um, bars. So that's what we're going to make. There's nothing better than cookie dough. Um, I love it in ice cream. I love it just by itself. Who doesn't love cookie dough? So what's better than a cookie dough bar? So um, let's make a cookie dough bar. Should be pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, pretty fast so enough talking let's get busy I'm gonna adjust the camera down here and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do all right pretty simple ingredients on this thing so um, the first thing I did was I have an eight and a half but I mean eight by eight pan and I take and I put parchment paper in I'm gonna line this here again this is no bake but I just it makes it easier to clean up right um, and then the first things that we're going to use, I'm going to use some Chalk Zero maple syrup in this. Um, just to give it, that's where I'm going to get my sweetness. I'm going to use some of the Richard's 100% peanut butter creamy. And then I'm going to use a little coconut oil. Then we're going to use a little almond flour. And then we're going to use some, uh, I'm going to use some Lily's Chalk Zero um, in it. And those are the things that I'm going to go with for this recipe. So. Um, again, uh, really, really simple. So we're going to start off. Uh, I'm going to take this coconut cream, coconut oil, I should say, um, and this is going to kind of, kind of be like. A, I said, you know, this has been really warm out here, so this has been sitting on the counter, so it's really, really soft. Um, so we're going to take that. Uh, I, I took about a half a cup, not a half a cup. A quarter of a cup of the coconut oil and I'm going to take about a quarter cup of the peanut butter I think this is a brand new one so first time opening it Same thing, we're going to take a quarter cup of this, um, I think, because this is, um, you know, Christy Davis always said, she said on her channels one time that uh, you take the, the peanut butter and the almond butter and turn it upside down and it will, the oil will could stay somewhat more mixed together because the oil always comes to the top and if you turn it upside down so I did that so it's actually pretty good um, so I'm going to dump that in there and I'm going to be honest with you I've never made this before um, I saw a recipe from uh, that's a big man's uh, website so this is a spin off off of that it's not exactly the same so uh, I've done a couple things like he doesn't put the peanut butter into it so um, I like the peanut butter and I like the flavor of the peanut butter so I'm going to use the peanut butter put the cover back on before I spill it and then I'm going to use about um, and the same thing this is new new this too I just got this
Again, I love Chalk Zero. If you haven't checked out Chalk Zero's site, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form, but I do use their stuff. I like their candies and I like their chocolates and stuff. Um, so I'm going to use this, like I said, instead of sugar, this is what I'm going to use. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to take this and mix it together a little bit. Now I am going to go in here and I'm going to melt this down a little bit just because I want it to be a little bit thinner. But um, so That's pretty thin and it's just because it's been warm here so it's been warm out sitting on the counter so it's all melted. So. Alright, I'm going to throw this in a microwave for about 20 seconds. We'll come back in about 20 seconds or in YouTube land about a second and see how good it looks. Alright, so this is really watery. You can see how well that coconut oil and the peanut butter has melted and kind of blended together. It smells really good. So next I'm going to take, I'm going to use three cups of the, uh, the almond flour. this in you ever made a version of this before let me know so again I want to get this so it's nice and crumbly you want it to look like cookie dough I will, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, go over there and check out my Instagram. I also have a web page, and that's where I put a lot of the web uh, um, recipes and stuff on the web page. is alansawesomeketoworld.com. So that's where I'm putting all these. Now if it's a little bit... Alright, so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate about a half a cup of um, the chocolate chips into it. Mix it in. You guys like to use chocolate chips? You like to use the uh, like to use chocolate zero stuff as well. I was trying to get them to give me an affiliate link, but they wouldn't. They said at this point in time they. They weren't giving any more out, so. But, but they are really good. I really still use them. You know, like I said, even though I'm not so, if you know somebody that is, I would go over there and check out their website. So very clumpy, that's what you want. I was going to say, I think it's a little bit drier than I would like, so I think I'm going to add just a tad bit more of the coconut oil in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually melt up about a, another, um, like an eighth of a tablespoon of the, uh, the coconut oil. I'm going to add that in. So let me do that and come back here and let's see what it looks like. All right, so I added some more oil to this. Trying to get a little more, a little too.
too dry for me so so I'm thinking instead of a quarter cup of the oil maybe I want to go with two, a third of a cup instead of a quarter of a cup Any that or maybe a little bit more peanut butter all right so so we get that in here so this is going to be our cookie dough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that move this other stuff out of the way kind of and we're going to put that in our 8x8 eight eight pan out in the pan, put it, pack it down. All right, that's all there is to it. We're gonna, oh, well, we're not done yet, so. Um, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator for about a half hour, harden it up a little bit. We're actually going to put a ganache on the top of it. So we'll come back here in a second when we'll come back here. Yeah, in your second in your time, in about a half hour of my time, we'll put that ganache on here. We'll make that ganache and put it on here. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. All right, so let's try this. All right, I'll see you in about uh, about a second and to put the ganache on. All right, so these are the semi-sweet uh, Lily's chocolate ones. Um, wish I had some of the uh, the Chalk Zero ones, but I ran out of them, so I haven't ordered any more. So. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to melt these. And, of course, to melt them, I'm going to put a little bit of the coconut oil in there. Um, you need some kind of fat, whether it be coconut oil or butter or something like that. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here, just enough to, to get it melted up, get this going. Otherwise it'll burn. So, uh, all right, I'm going to throw this in the microwave for about 20 seconds at a clip until these are melted down. And then I'll come back when these are all melted up and they're ready to go. All right, here's the ganache. Now these are semi-sweet, so I didn't put any sweetener in it, and I'm not sure I should or not. Um, so I'm kind of debating whether I want to do that, but I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Yeah, I think it's sweet enough the way it is. All right, so this is the uh, this is the cookie dough. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this on the top of the cookie dough. to get this all over So all I'm going to do is just kind of spread this around now on the top. Tell me, how do you make your, do you make ganache? If you do, do you use cocoa or do you use just melted chocolate? Let me know down in the comments. I've made it both ways. I know that when I make it with the, the um, cocoa, it gets a little bit bitter sometimes, so it, so that's why I wanted to try it with this this time and see how that went. All right, so I'm going to throw this back in the refrigerator. We're going to let the, the ganache harden up, and then we're going to come back and do the taste test. So I'll see you back here in about a minute, a second or two. All right, this has been the, the 
We actually put it in the freezer for a little bit just to speed up the time a little bit. So we're going to put this on a plate though. That's why I use parchment paper. See, there's nice and easy. Not a whole lot of mess to clean up. Throw that over by the sink. That's what it looks like. I'm going to take a picture or two for, uh, for the thumbnail. And then we're going to uh, finish this film off. So, all right, let me come back here in a second after I've taken a couple pictures. All right, let's take a cut of this. So I show you what it looks like. All right, now I'm going to tip the camera up here while we do a, the taste test. All right, again, that's what it looks like. That's the inside of it. The only thing I'm going to say is, wow. Yeah, and I can taste the, uh, I can taste the maple syrup in there. I can taste the peanut butter in there. I can taste the chocolate in there. It's an awesome, awesome combination, at least in my opinion, right? I'm a big peanut butter and chocolate person, so, um, and coconut. And so, awesome, awesome. Um, really, really nice tasting. Um, um, that came out really, really nice, so. Looks good. Yeah, it came out really, really good. So, so I'm a big fan. Um, this is really good. Like I said, I haven't done the macros right. I could have wrapped the recipe. Um, I kind of went off a of, kind of a sketch of what what I wanted to do. I haven't wrote the recipe yet, so I got to do that, and I'll do the macros, and I'll put that down. And um, I'll put a link to the actually the web page down below, and then I'll put the the recipe on the web page. Go over to alansawesome.com, um, and you'll find the web page there. Also, join me over on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And uh, you know, if you like the video, um, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. You know, I would really be greatly appreciated. Hey, if you enjoy this content and uh, other other mores, you know the best thing to do is share. Sharing is caring, right? So um, share it out. Um, love to have uh, other people look at it. Love to have it if you make it. Um, let me know what you think of it down below as well. I'd love to love to know. Um, this is a really good again. This is a treat. Um, once in a while, I'll make these. And uh, we'll eat them every once in a while when I want a little treat or something like that. I won't eat them every day. I won't eat them, you know, one piece at a time or something like that too as well. So um, you guys are awesome. Super, super good. Um, love it, love it, love it. So, all right, you guys are awesome. You guys are great. I'm going to see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out this video over here or uh, this following video over here. If you want to see more great videos and other content like this. Because you guys are awesome.